Hi scholars, you have watched the context clues intro and you've done the activity now that you're here because this is the definitions video. That's one of the clues we can use to figure out what an unknown word means or a word that we don't know. So I wanted to show you this anchor chart first. We're just looking at this top part um, where it says definition and example because a lot of times we get confused um, between a definition and an example. So by the end of this lesson, by the end of your exit ticket, you'll be able to separate what a definition is from an example. So let's look at this anchor chart. It says a definition, the word is defined in the sentence or surrounding sentences. So defined means it tells us what the word means, or maybe it gives us another word um, to describe what the word means. But an example provides clues to the meaning of the unknown word. So let's look at this. It says the police thwarted or prevented the robber's plans. This is an example of a definition because right beside thwarted, it tells us that that means to prevent the robber's plans. But in the example side, it's trying to give us an example of decor. So instead of telling us a definition or exactly what decor means, it says the decor, including the fancy lights, beautiful paintings, and unique furniture made the house look stunning. So it doesn't tell us what decor means, but we know that decor looks like fancy lights or beautiful paintings. So we could say decor is decorations. Decorations would be the definition, but examples would be fancy lights, beautiful paintings, or furniture. Let's look at the Nearpod, which is exactly what you're going to be doing for the definition practice and the definition exit ticket. So of course you need to click join lesson. And the first thing you're gonna see is a word. Our word here is awkward. And then you're going to see a definition. It said, says awkward means an embarrassing or uncomfortable situation. I bet most of us have been in an awkward or an awkward situation before. But let's look at an example. Here's a sentence with an example of awkward. It is awkward when you meet someone for the first time and don't know what to say. So maybe you felt awkward on the first day of school when you were meeting new friends and you didn't know what to say. So just to review, the definition tells us that awkward means an embarrassing or uncomfortable situation. But the example gives us a situation that helps us understand the word. It helps us put our feet in that situation. So we can all think of a time we've met someone and we didn't know what to say. And now we know that's an example of awkward. So then in the Nearpod, I'm gonna be asked to define awkward based on what the text says. So I need to choose the best choice. Is awkward a comfortable situation? Is it a happy situation? Or is it an uncomfortable or embarrassing situation? Well, I know it's not a happy situation, but I am gonna go back to the definition. I'm sorry about my dog's whining. I'm gonna go back to the definition just to make sure. It says awkward means an embarrassing or uncomfortable situation. And the only option that matches that is C, an uncomfortable or embarrassing situation. I have to click submit for the teacher to see my work. It'll tell me if I got it right. If I didn't, I can answer again. And now I'm going to go to the next, which you're going to do. We need to record our audio or type in our own example of the word. My word is awkward, so I need to think of an example that has been awkward for me. I'm going to choose record audio. A time that was awkward for me was the first day of starting a brand new job and I didn't know where my classroom was and I didn't know exactly where to go to ask for help. All right, so I voice recorded a time that was awkward for me and now I'm going to click submit. But you'll notice I didn't give a defini definition. I didn't say awkward is an uncomfortable situation. I gave an example uh, of a time that felt awkward for me. Marcy's trying to say hey. Okay, here's the second word so that you can be successful on your practice and your exit ticket. Our new word is predator. 
A predator is an animal that eats other animals. Hmm, is that the definition or an example? If you said definition, you're right. This is the definition. It says a predator is an animal that eats other animals. Well, let's look at an example. One predator is a lion because they eat smaller animals. So again, the definition is a predator is any animal that eats other animals. But the example we have is an actual animal that is a predator, a lion, because they eat smaller animals. So let's go to our quiz and pick the best definition of the word. What does predator mean? Is it an animal that gets eaten by other animals? Is it an animal that eats other animals? Or an animal that lives in the desert? Okay, I know it is not an animal that lives in the desert. We didn't even talk about that. So my other options are an animal that gets eaten by other animals or an animal that eats other animals. I'm going to go back to the definition just to make sure I got it right. A predator is an animal that eats other animals. So not one that's getting eaten, but one that's doing the eating. So my best answer choice is B, an animal that eats other animals. I clicked submit. It showed me I got it right with the green. Now I'm going to go to my open-ended question where I give an example of a predator. Well, the example they gave me was a lion. So I need to think of another animal that eats other animals. Hmm. I think I have one. I'm going to do record audio again because that's my favorite. But of course, you can type in your answer if you want to. An example of a predator is a wolf. They eat other animals in the forest to survive. Then I click the stop button. My answer is recorded in 10 seconds. I gave the example that a predator can also be a wolf. And now I'm going to click submit. All right. Now that I see this slide, I know my Nearpod is done. It's your turn to try with the practice and the exit ticket. Can't wait to see your great work.